Hello everybody and welcome to Fulcan Effects where I'm going to show you today how to create the Red Giants retrograde look without the need of any kind of plugin or whatever. Um, for making this you're going to need an 8mm film footage that uh, you can find many on uh, oops, here on YouTube. You, you tap uh, 8mm film f overlay and you will find a lot. They're pretty cool. And uh, you're gonna need also a noisy footage, all right? You will see later why. And as always, I will provide both of them in the description below, in the link. And um, I don't know why I have to say that this is a medium difficulty because actually it's pretty easy. You're gonna see it's a very easy method that takes some um, very cool uh, effects. So, okay, we go to our composition. Holy crap, that's me. Yeah, obviously, that's me. Um, the first thing that we want to do is go to the composition and go to the adjust of the composition and this is 16.9 format that is the is a recent format and we want to make it um, 4.3 that is the one that used to be you know in the time of 8 millimeters uh, films so make sure that instead of 1920 you tap 1440 so go to set I'm gonna have to positioning a little bit over there. All right. Um, now we wanna. Well, uh, I only have this video, but uh, if you have more effects uh, on top of the layer, make sure that you right-click and pre-compose this. We're gonna call it effects. Uh, make sure that you also mark this one, not the first one, so that uh, all the this adjustment that we have made here, it applies to the other composition and doesn't, uh, it, it, it isn't left on here. Whatever, just do what I do. <laughs> and uh, we have to uh, now come here again and we wanna set it to a very, very small quality. So something like 240, except, oh, that's my mouth. Uh, we have to scale this down, maybe a little bit more, more, no, 23, all right, now, again, uh, yeah, uh, right click, uh, pre-compose, sorry, and go to here, write resize, and again, make sure that this one is marked, not this one, all right, now go to composition, adjustment, um, put it a high, uh, higher quality. Well, you, you can leave it like that, but I like to make it a higher quality to have a better result, like 480. Thing like that's cool. And uh, now go to right click, transform, and uh, adjust the composition. Uh, now, right, we have uh, lost a lot of quality actually. If, if we go back to our, uh, to our composition, we will see that we have lost many details, um, this is actually what we want, to lose details. So uh, the first thing that we have to do over here is um, take the posterize time effect because uh, probably you will have a footage uh, filmed at 24, 25, 30 se frames per second um, but these kind of films were at a very low rate of frames per second, like 15, for example, 15, 20. That's up to you, you know, just uh, set values um, and play it and see how you like them. So, okay, now we're gonna, no, sorry, we're gonna import one of the footages that I will provide you. This one, real 8 millimeters film stock footage. All right, we set it on top. And uh, just in case, I'm gonna make sure that is adjusted to the composition, okay? And we wanna set it to the multiply mode. And obviously, because of setting it to multiply, our footage will get uh, pretty much darker. So for fixing that, we will get the uh, exposition or exposure effect and set the value higher. Uh, Something like that. Yeah, that's cool. All right, now we're gonna create a new adjustment layer. And we're gonna take a, oh, sorry, I forgot something, sorry. 
we have to come here and right click on the 8 millimeters footage and go to interpretate file material principle and make sure that you on here on loop you set a high value so that you can keep on looping this the whole video all right we're ready now we come here and we go to the contrast effect we turn it set it to 20 we duplicate that and now we set it to minus 20 and we have this very cool effect um, now we have to get a tint effect and um, this is very up to you up to what kind of look you wanna you wanna have you can have only black and white effect you can have it black and white but also on a brown scale I'm actually gonna put it like that and the white I'm gonna turn it to yellowish I'm gonna set it down so that I lose some quality but not all the colors a bit less alright I think on my footage looks vintage enough like that and now we wanna get the unsharpened mask drop it in top and the levels leave it at 50 but radio we want it at 5 so that we have this we have this effect that is pretty cool okay so we can see a very big difference and now we wanna import the other footage that I have here, this one, all film effect. I'm gonna drop it in top and again right click, uh, transform, adjust the composition and in case you only have a six seconds composition but in case you have a longer one you know just do as before just go here right click, interpret principle and um, put a higher value to the loop. Okay so we wanna set this one to, uh, we wanna set it invisible because we want to create a displacement map displacement map and drop it on our resize composition and holy crap I look an over set it to all film effect and set it to luminance and luminance and I think that 5 is alright and what we have done with this is that um, we have actually made this I don't know if you will see that our texture looks now a little bit shaky. If I turn this one off, you will see we have a straight edges and we don't want that. We want our texture to be a little bit shaky. So that's cool. All right, we turn this to visible. And uh, now if you want, you can... Uh, duplicate this layer set it to visible and now get the threshold effect drop it in top set it to 70 and you will see now that there are some parts of the here for example that we have this kind of dot so we set it to um, darken I don't know how how's that one called the, the one over multiply so that's it and you will see that now we have some extra grain in our footage so uh, this looks pretty cool this looks really vintage and I hope that you find this one helpful on that on that you subscribe to my channel and in case you need any kind of tutorial just let me know in the comments below and let me know if this was helpful for you and I hope also that uh, you give a like to this video and see you in my next tutorial so see ya